direction, choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic tees. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit, basic. Stay alert and remember, choose your own path. Damn, man. I got one more question for you. I want Alex, Alex brew this shit up. Because this is why I feel like principles start to get watered down we started getting to a gray area um in situations like this if your child or loved one committed a crime are you turning them in loyalty versus stupidity again when it's close to us we start to kind of waver on a lot of our principles i feel like or when it threatens our livelihood and shit like that so what you gonna do ron Man, mm -hmm. that's, that's tough. Um, I kind of had like a, a personal experience with that. You know, mm -hmm. I was active duty and basically FBI called me on my work phone while I was at work. So mm -hmm. they already, you know, knew who I was. Um, he was like, yeah, Lieutenant Major, this is the FBI. Uh, we just need to, you know, make sure that we got some things um, squared away. And I mean, I didn't give up anyone, but I, I, I had to make an omission where I would could have jeopardized some, you know, livelihood of my um, family member as far as just, you know, going by that, you know, not snitching and, you know, what I'm saying staying loyal to the, you know, what I'm saying to the hood. So I was like, man, fuck that. Um, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I mean, when it, when it comes to your livelihood, I think the, the dynamics definitely change. Yo, and he said you told Ron. They call me you a snitch. <laughs> Yo, man. you have you have to be a part of the game to be a snitch. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Like you saying, you ain't. If a nigga come through robbed at McDonald's and you tell, that ain't snitching, right? Yeah, but if it you, is. Yeah, but if you robbed it with him and you get caught, then you tell that snitching. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Damn. I like so, McDonald's too, man. <laughs> I like McDonald's. I just too. might do it for some McNuggets. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go after this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I've been working out like a motherfucker too, but now that we mentioned my mouth watering and shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what you gonna do, man? If you're you having a girl, right? Yeah. Mm. Man. Mm. She do some wild shit. Mm, mm, mm. She on her Bonnie and Clyde shit. She Bonnie. Mm. I, Man. I like Hold on. Okay. Nah. You know, that's how the police knock. Okay. Police is knocking. I'm answering the door. Answer the fuck. Do you know how to act, bro? What? Kim, you just stop banging, making noise. Go ahead. Bub, let Bub, Bub know how to act better than you. Oh. NYPD, open the fucking door. NYPD, open the door. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Miss Johnson. Okay, so I'm opening the door. We're here. Are you Miss Johnson? Depends on who's asking. I said it's NYPD. Are you Miss Johnson? It depends on who's asking. What do you need? It's NYPD. Are you Miss Johnson? Is your daughter named Lakeisha Johnson? Yes, that's my daughter. <laughs> All right. I got a question for you. Okay. Miss Johnson, 
What was Lakeisha Johnson last night at around the time of 9 p.m.? She was here. She came home after work. Can you confirm that? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you mind coming down to the precinct so we can take a, a, a statement from you, Miss Johnson? Do I do mind. You do mind? I do mind. You do? I do mind, yes. So, so there's no way. You, this, so there's no way you can prove that Lakeisha Johnson was here, per se, at 9 p.m. yesterday. Why? Why are you so gun ho? She was here. So you, you don't want to come down to the precinct? No, it's the middle of the is night. Your daughter, is is, is your daughter here? Right? Is your daughter here right now? No, she's not here right now. Do you know her whereabouts? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? Enough. I'm not answering the door if I'm not expecting anybody. Oh you my god! Oh, you going to answer that motherfucker? No, I'm not going to answer the door. Oh. Uh -uh. God, that shit's too funny. <laughs> so, Alec, what you going to do, man? You 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 telling on your daughter? No, I'm not telling her. No. Nah. Let's say she, she let's say it was a 187. Do you know what that is? I've heard it in the song. Can you please tell me what a 187 is? Come Murder. On, Alex. <laughs> Murder, death, kill. Um, am I telling? That's a tough one. I feel like it depends on why she did it. <laughs> she was committing good god man no, she no, was no. in the wrong it's murder one it ain't murder it ain't um manslaughter man, she was she was in the wrong for doing it i probably will tell mm. I probably will so tell. you gonna you gonna get you gonna give her life no grandkids <laughs> you're never gonna see her again or you're gonna not gonna see her behind no bar she in a 23 and one that means she locked up for 23 hours a day she got a toilet yeah. in the room she only get one hour. She only get one hour out. Very little sunlight in a cage. If it was on purpose, you should have did what you did. I raised you better than that. You should have done that. So you're Yo, gonna be on Alex the stand. Alex is lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alex is see, lying. There, is, there mm -hmm. are some things that okay, we can get, we can work through this. I will go ahead and I'll cut up for murder. You took someone else's life. I'm not doing that with you, especially if it was a situation that was on purpose. I'm not, I'm would, not you, doing would you give your life for your child? No, not if you did no dumb shit like that. No. But just generally, would you give your life for your child? Yes. Mm, but you were also in hers if she did something you thought was wrong. Your life, your life is gonna look different, but it's not over. You ever been in jail, nigga? No. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Her life is over with. I don't give a fuck how many laptops and tablets they give them in that motherfucker now. That shit is a wrap. It Man, just Alex, it, it depends. It really does. The cap. I'm telling you, like if she went and she robbed a bank or something like that, or she stole something, I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know where she was. I was Mr. Brick with the twenty dollars super chat. Bob never let us down, man. Oh, shit like that. 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 What was Alex saying? I I, I I don't stop listening. Q, what Whatever. Was <laughs> Whatever. Q, all I heard was she was talking was stop, 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 stop the cap, stop, 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 stop the cap. That's all I heard, man. You telling on your kid? Q, what'd you think, man? Yeah, it depends. Like, if they show up like Bub did, you got to go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Yo. Now, that's yeah, no niggas. So, if they knocking on the door like that, you giving her up? Are you giving him up? Yeah, if, and the crime is fitting. You know what I mean? It's all those factors. Like, now, if it's just assumption or... They're looking for everybody who had a gray hoodie from two nights ago. That's something completely different. But, mm. like, you really came home with the bloody sneakers and you in my house? You got to go. Damn. 
Uh, for me, that's a consequence but, of poor action. You know what I mean? Like, and that's if I'm teaching that from when you're young, the fuck I look like protecting you when the shit actually hit the fan. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right about the principal thing, right? Damn, I think it's so much more sensitive when it's a kid. What, Alex? I'm just saying, if y'all had let me explain, I agree with Q. Yeah, but by the time you finish explaining, it'd be uh, 1.30 in the morning. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You too busy, uh, motherfucking... <laughs> Come on, man. Dana, I know you giving up the goods. Okay, you ain't saying nothing. I'm not giving up my kid. I'm not giving up any until Bub come knock on my door. Lawyer, <laughs> lawyer. Hello, yes. Miami PD. What's up? Um, I'm looking for the. I'm looking for Sylvia Reed. I'm Sylvia <laughs> Reed, I guess. <laughs> You Sylvia Reed? Yeah, I'm Sylvia Reed. All right, Sylvia Reed, where were you on Monday night at 10 p.m.? That's none of your business. Who are you? Who the fuck? I just told you. It's my name <laughs> PD. I'm sorry. I don't talk to police without an attorney present. Uh, an attorney? An attorney. So, you, so, so you're refusing? I'm refusing to talk to you without my attorney present is what I said. I'm not refusing to talk to you. Well, listen, we just want to ask you. Am I under talk? arrest? Am I under arrest? If you start getting rowdy, arrest? if you if you start getting rowdy, you can be under arrest. arrest. Door if slams. You getting, if you start getting <laughs> rowdy, you can be under arrest. The door is closed. You are speaking through the door at this point. No. Sylvia Reed, Sylvia Reed, put your hands behind your back. The door <laughs> is closed. I don't know, Dana. That shit, man. If you know your kid caught a body. Come on, man. I'm not giving. That's not my job to prove. I'm not giving up my kid. I'm not giving no. up my kid. What Put is that on the prosecutor? I, I, I teach you morals. Um, you know, God will judge you. I'm not giving up my kid. The the one thing I might have to catching a body. I don't think. I don't. I don't think so. But if you know, if you if somebody had a son and they committed some like foul shit like a rape or something that type of shit i couldn't i couldn't protect the mice no shit like that i'll give you up for rape before i would murder so so it depends on the crime then that's like the only extenuating it's probably the only two and like dealing with a child like a kid child, or something say, yeah that's it that's yeah it. but they could caught a body shit we burning them sneakers that's between you and god yeah i ain't got nothing to do with that we're gonna get some we're gonna get some ammonia make sure we get that residue mm. we're, gonna, we're gonna watch all the move gangster movies to see what else they did on the gangster movies oh, 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 oh. don't give them don't 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 give them too many uh <laughs> <laughs> just, wherever the body at we're gonna be pulling teeth out cutting fingers off we don't we don't want nobody using this clip don't give them too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That was <laughs> and okay. hypothetical. Well, everybody, accessory. I'm not going to become an accessory, but I'm not telling either. Yeah, it's your kid. Nah. What if, your your man? what if it was your man, Dana? Your man. My oh, husband? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My No. Absolutely not. Mm. That's that's not my job. My job is not to put black people in jail. That's somebody else's job. <laughs> you say let them do their job. That's it. Yeah. What, if it was, what if it was a side piece that he uh, killed? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Ron. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And I think there's, but with, with a husband and wife, I think there's also spousal privilege. There is, there is, there yeah. is. But yeah, yeah. No, but not so even let me there. ask you this. But let me ask you this with the with the spouse joint. Let's say. Something happened and like a child died, so they're gonna charge both of y'all unless one of y'all confess to it. One of you confessing to it. I'm trying to, to understand the scenario. Other from going. Would you take a charge for your husband? No. Somebody got to take the charge. Well, you mm -hmm. got to take it then. But he the provider though. <laughs> okay. Why? What you gonna be out here doing? Being broke with the kids? 
Mm-mm. What do you think I would be doing in jail? No. <laughs> yeah, you gonna be in jail, but at least the kids and, and they're gonna be straight. They gonna be straight. We'll figure it out. Mm. No, we you won't. That's the problem. <laughs> People think they gonna figure some shit out. Money don't grow on trees no more. I know how to make money. Right. That's not I the mean, problem. No, right. but I'm not. I'm, I'm not taking a charge for nobody. Mm. So, Dang. Not oh, hold on. We got Real Bravado Network with the ten dollars spot. F that. I'm helping my daughter leave the country. F the feds and the marshals, CIA, Secret Service, all of them. <laughs> shit like that. Shit like that. Damn man. Did y'all see? Um, did y'all see that movie? The next three days. I don't know. Was it predicated on real life? Um. Well, this this lady. She did not kill the lady, but they had an argument. They worked together. The lady got killed. Somebody robbed her, killed her. The lady came out and got blood on her jacket from like because she was next to it. Something happened. It's with um the dude who's in Gladiator. What's his name? Russell Crowe. Yeah. And he like broke her out of jail and all that. His wife. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that shit was pretty mm-hmm. tight. Yeah. Damn man. A wife. My wife. I feel like I feel obligated to do the bid, but I'm way more valuable outside, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, babe, you sit down for five years, we'll be straight. If I sit down for five years, <laughs> like, no, that's a fact. Facts. That's a fact. You know, like, is that wrong? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hell yeah, that shit is wrong. No, it ain't. No, <laughs> it's not. I told okay. a dude today. Listen, your your girl ain't never gonna make as much money than you. Tell her ass to stay at home. Word. Mm. <laughs> so for all y'all that said y'all y'all protecting y'all kids, so this is kind of on topic but off topic. Are y'all the same type that will put your kids before your spouse in a, a marriage or relationship? Or are y'all putting your spouse before your kids? Spouse, yeah, my spouse come first. Give a fuck about these kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, why I ain't y'all taking go- a charge one of them? No, so what, what? What? In terms of like, if the cops looking for it, I'm not gonna give my kids up. Just like I wouldn't give my wife up. But I'm not taking a charge for none of them. I'm not going to jail for my kids. I'm not going to jail for my wife. <laughs> Nigga, if you 60 crap. years old, you're not living that long, bro. You're going you're gonna to get up out of here about 71, 72. So if you 60, would you take the charge then? Like, does that matter at all? I'm not going to jail for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Shit like that. I feel shit like, like if I'm that. old, like I can that. take shit the charge. Like, like I'm old. Like fuck it. Adrian, you're not going to jail for your wife. Hell no. <laughs> if she do something, I need she, you to clip this up dead right. <laughs> clip it up. Oh, yeah. Dead right. <laughs> she valuable, but like Hint was saying, if I'm not here, nothing works. All of the friends. <laughs> wow. 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 You know remember you did it. All right, babe, I love you. I'll write you. I do conjugal visits. I make sure the girls <laughs> send you stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to jail for you. Mm. Ain't no way. Man. All right. Hey, yo. So they got a warrant I'm... for your kids' arrest? Y'all lying? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm lying off top. Yeah, I lie about that. I'm like, I don't know where they well, I'm, just, gonna, I'm gonna use in. the fifth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use the fifth, even though it's actually for you and not incriminating yourself. But these cops don't be knowing a lot <laughs> in the most situations, so I'm just not gonna say nothing. Right, and then and so then when it gets pushed out to its wits end, what y'all doing then? What does the wits end look like? Like yeah. um, y'all holding a fucking fugitive. Trial? Oh, what? What? Okay, and that's a weird flex. I don't know. You niggas is confusing. That's a weird flex. Like y'all, y'all put your spouse before your kids, but y'all go hard body to lie for them if they committed a crime. Yeah, I'm not. Y'all understand. ain't scared of no motherfucking court. Oh no, cops! I'm taking that shit all the way to trial. Whatever y'all want to do, let's get it. I'm taking that shit all the way. And I might not even lawyer up. Let's get it. 
What, what you what are you saying, Q? Can you repeat that? Yeah, so y'all go hard body to like defend y'all kids and and lie to protect them, right? If they committed a crime, so they're in the wrong, right? Mm -hmm. However, y'all will put y'all spouse before the children. In the right, but I would go. I would do the same thing for my wife, though. Right, like I will lie for her. I'm not gonna give her up. But I'm not going to jail for none of them equally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I see what, what I see what Q's saying. That's what I'm saying. So you would then you're not a part of them. They're saying they would take it all the way, all the way out, like lying on the stand and everything, and put themselves in. No, I'm not doing that. Yo, yeah, I'm I'll lying purge. on the stand, yo. Yeah, I'll purge myself. The um and I would take I would do the time because I know I could do it too. Like that's kind of what it would boil down to. She can't do no fucking time. So what lesson then would your children learn from that? If that's how y'all y'all do it for them. That I, I guess good. that's where I'm getting a little bit confused too. Be a good dad like your daddy. <laughs> that makes you a good dad? Yeah. You 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 raised the criminal and then when they did some criminal like shit, you took the bitch like that. Hey, you know, nigga caught up one body. Shit, he ain't a criminal, he ain't a he ain't a career criminal. <laughs> maybe it was a murder too maybe some shit hit the fan and then once it started popping off it popped off not like a murder one premeditated let's say like murder two where it's kind of like it happens in that moment the killing is intentional but it wasn't premeditated that's a hard sell him but alright <laughs> <laughs> we still gotta be the protector at the end of the day right right I think y'all losing y'all respect right there. When y'all get home, fuck y'all and the big piece of chicken. Like, how, that's crazy to me. Are we losing respect, though? From how? your kid? No. We gotta get it. Why? Because they went and did some fuck shit, and you took the, the fall for it. Unless to say they never learned your lesson. Right. Mm -hmm. But you saying that when we take the stand, Q, I'm taking the fucking stand. It's for it's it's for the jury and the prosecutor to. You know what I'm saying it's in their hands now. You see this face? Nah. My <laughs> yeah, there's no. I don't. Yeah, like what? Well, what's the benefit of me? Like, yeah, that nigga did that shit. Like, uh, like you gotta you gotta prove it beyond a reasonable doubt for him exactly. to man the fuck up. Like that's. Who okay. man it up to a body? So what about who's who <laughs> about parents whose kids are constantly in trouble? Do you reach a point? Do you reach a point as a parent when you are like, okay, I have to turn you over. Like enough is enough. You're doing too much. You're not learning your lesson. No, parents don't. They don't, man. You see these kids doing. Did you see the kid that got off of affluenza? Where he was so rich. That yeah. he didn't understand consequences to his actions. And guess who footed that bill? His parents. Did y'all watch all those redhead people? It's on Netflix now. They all got red hair. Like the, the father yeah. killed the mom. and the, 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 Yeah, I saw that documentary. Yeah. from out, out of South Carolina or something. Yeah. But they, yeah. yo, they, yeah, they pour all their money in. They, yo, I'm telling you, when, when it's really real, I think parents will do what we saying. You know, did you remember that old clip where the dude, the the girl got raped, and I think she got killed, and her dad? They, so they were they were moving the guy from jail to jail, and the dad was at a phone booth. You remember we used to have the old phones, right? And he had a gun though. So when the guy walked by, he turned around and shot him, like in real life. You know, because he because he hurt his daughter. So parents go hard, man, that, when it's really on. That makes yeah, sense. that's different, but you know what I'm saying. Go ahead, Q, what'd you say? Yeah, y'all wildin' though. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think... I think you would do it, too. Mm -mm. I think you would do it, too. Because mm -mm. what's the benefit of telling on your kid? Go ahead, Dana, my bad. No, I was gonna say, I think that's a cultural difference, too. I, I really, really do. I think that Black people are far more likely to... Um, turn their kid in or turn them over to the system because they want them to learn a lesson or, um, you know, whatever it is. But um, I don't feel like other cultures do it as much, whether they're right, wrong, indifferent, um, especially 
just from my experience growing up and and being around a lot of law enforcement like it's a lot of single black women who have you know the these kids and their uh, fathers aren't around or whatever, they're real quick to turn them over to the system. They don't want to deal with it anymore or they they just, you know, um, they, they want the lesson to be learned. But I don't think other cultures do that as much as we do. I, I, I think black people fear, you know, that court system <clears throat> and police, period. So that might be, that might be why, you know, they're more willing to turn over their child or loved one. Yeah. Be that I, you, if, you, if you committed a crime, now fuck that. That if you committed a crime in self in self defense, and I could put up the bail money and get you out and all this other stuff and, and get you a good lawyer for your defense, that's that's a completely different situation than you just out here on some dumb reckless shit and I raised you better than that, and you out here just killing niggas. You could you go into fucking jail. Yeah, because I I'm with, I'm with you. you. Nah. That. You're saying if he's a perpetual, like he's a criminal, that's like a career. That's what I was. That was it don't even got to be a career criminal. You just outside on some dumb shit that you should not be a, involved in or a part of. And it's not no accident. Again, they're not looking for everybody who had gray hoodies that night and you just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's not the same. No, but see, we started off as one incident, but now you bringing it into multiple, like, right? So, again, we got again, you, you, uh, you're talking uh, about a career second, criminal now. It. A sexual assault, one sexual assault, you're going to fucking jail. I'm not. But I, fucking yeah, I said that. Yeah, you again. Well, we talk about murder, right? So you was just in the gas station. Um, your man said, "Hold the gun." You held it and shot him in the foot. The fuck was you holding his gun for? That's dumb. Like you know what I mean? Like I, there's certain crime, certain extents to that crime. It's like nah. And but we got there because I added more to the story and saying about speaking the realm of loyalty, like what about those parents who you know your kid is on some fuck shit and you still go ahead and you defend them? Think about the news. Like I don't know what the news is like in Connecticut anymore, but I know here there are situations where these moms are crying, like, Oh my gosh, yes, I said your child died, but you also knew he was on excuse point that fuck shit. So it was just like at what point do you reach to where you're like, you know what, I could have intervened. I should have stepped in, I should have said something. And you did it. Yeah, I just subject into that that system, which is it, <clears throat> so Q's example. That nigga probably said, "Yo, hold this gun for I shoot you, nigga." That's that that's the shit that be happening. But that, that's different, though. Well, you just saying he just doing some dumb. I mean, so much shit happens. Like people getting getting arguments and fights. People pull the strap like you saying like, yo, you got to go learn from that. And I'm supposed to help you get, 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 get like put into that system. That system ain't shit. You ain't learning in there. You come become more of an animal. Yeah. You don't learn shit from this. this it's not rehabilitation. Yeah. But I also feel like you guys going hard for them is not teaching them anything either. Well, yeah, I don't give a fuck. My daughter catch a body. She come home bloody. I ain't telling. Well, but but too, along those lines, it's not going hard to um, to cover up for them or, um, you know, whatever, just because the cover up is to keep them out of the system. That's what it's about. Teach the lesson outside of jail. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying it's to excuse their behavior. That's what I'm looking for. It's not to excuse it. It's not to say that it's OK, but it's to keep your ass out of jail and out of that system because you, you don't recover from that easily. Right, but my, I guess my whole thing is I'm not raising the criminal to begin with. I'm not raising no fuck yeah. boy or fuck girl to begin with. So, a lot of whatever the case may be, you you shouldn't be a part of the system regardless. You know what I mean? So if you end up going that path, that's not on me. That's beyond me at that point. Yeah, but you, I'm sure your so parents don't know half you the like you when you was a teen, in your younger years. Wait, say that again. I'm sure your parents don't know half the shit you've done. In your younger years no they do my mama do they I know mind. everything q everything oh yeah, oh, yeah. everything oh yeah i don't hide <laughs> shit Bubba, nigga i'm telling you nigga i don't hide so shit. they know about even the time when you were selling ass they I'm know about that <laughs> say that again so they know about that time when you were selling ass <laughs> you stupid as fuck. no but you know actually Somebody tried to put that rumor out there, and I had to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
real <laughs> shit. Like, I don't hide shit. For what? <sighs> Ron, what you say? No, I was at wanted to ask you. So at, at what point do you decide whether your, your child is, you know, a, a, a criminal or not? given the case that they might have, you know, got caught up in a one-time experience or like, at what point do you decide whether this person, you know, the child's guilty or not, basically? Determining that based off of the extent of the crime, again, like if you did it, as, if you did something in self-defense, um, by law, that would be considered a crime, right? But if you did something just because you're like, Oh, I'm trying to fit in with the streets or I'm trying to, you know, be a part or whatever the case may be. There's some really dumb shit, Ron. There's some really right, dumb but, shit. But how would you how would you know that this that he actually or he he or she actually is like did the crime? So like you can be charged with the crime. You get charged with it all the time, but if your child is coming to you, you know, saying, Mom, I did, you know what I'm saying, this happened, kind of explain the situation and whatnot. Like, what what factors do you take to where you would decide, like, all right, nigga, I'm not helping you. Right. So that goes back to they just driving around looking for everybody who had gray hoodies on that night. Like, I'm not going to give you up because you're they're assuming that you committed a crime that you didn't commit. I'm saying when when there is evidence like you got a confession on you or there's like, you know, a full tape. And nigga, I know my fucking kid. Like, that's definitely you. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a kind of common sense straightforward so, so you turning them in you going so far as to turn them in if they have a warrant for their arrest for a crime that they committed you got to fucking go so like you said they looking for a nigga with a great hoodie your son came in the crib his shoes is bloody and all that he give you yeah, the he give, yeah and then he say yeah Whatever happened, I had to do what I had to do. You bringing him to the police station? He gonna have to take it. He gonna have to uh, turn himself in. If he doesn't, then they have a warrant for him. Then it is what it is. When they no, they they looking for the person. You see what I'm saying? They not not a one. They looking for the person. Gray hoodie. He come in with the blood on his shoes. Y'all had a conversation. He did that shit. You mm -hmm. bringing him to the precinct? No. Okay. Even because though he it did it, me who committed the crime. Huh? Because it wasn't me who committed the crime. No, he oh, so you're not you're not going to so, the precinct. So he would be responsible for turning himself in as the criminal. But you're not going to turn him in, though. No, I'm not going out of my way to turn him in like that. That's some whole shit. Okay. Okay. And so they steady looking. They don't find him. It just is what it is. At that point, he got lucky. Hmm. So what lesson did we learn? You in the same boat? No, it's not. You niggas is talking about, I'm going to purge myself. We different. We not the same. Don't try to put me with y'all. I'm just saying, man. Shit. You. <laughs> so, so you going to fold when the police show up? <laughs> if they have a warrant for his arrest, he <laughs> got to go. Mm, mm, mm. It ain't about folding and scared of these motherfuckers. So, enough. so do you do you, do you think that they normally have like solid evidence, you know, aside from circumstantial evidence when they issue a warrant? There's a chance that they won't run, but again, if my child is saying this is something that they actually did, I'm talking about concrete evidence. I can't go against concrete evidence. Like I think I get what you're trying to say. Like they're trying to pin a crime. That's something completely different. Do you think that people that, that you know, folks like would admit to something without actually like doing wrong just because they're they are afraid? Do you think that's not a possibility? For a child of mine? You know, these niggas got nope. real nice not doing that. You say they got I'm what? They got real nice, they're not just saying that they did some shit because they scared oh okay so you know you know your kids you're like ah they said the motherfuckers did it God damn. <coughs> you'd be surprised man hey, yo, but ryan, i think that'd be no four local no nah, ryan ain't drinking no four local is nah, he man, i'm not even gonna tell you what i'm drinking y'all not gonna laugh at me <laughs> it is a four local put him in a fucking bed and get him out of here come on i think dana's point i'm just thinking about it when you look at those stories like the um the brothers in um, New York 
um was it five of them like central, central park, park five, yeah, yeah. Central park five. Yeah, but yeah. that whole situation was crazy but just in terms of like how the moms responded how the kids don't know nothing how corey kind of just saying whatever thinking they're going to go home because they don't understand the law mm-hmm. and then you know for white people they un- I, it seems they understand the law better they're not as afraid to bub's point and also they protect their name like they 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 don't want their names to be tarnished you know i mean even looking and we know hunter biden is a fucking I mean, he's a degenerate. But Biden protect that motherfucker till the cows come home. You know, it just it's just an it's interesting like point. Degenerate. <laughs> huh? <Yeah. laughs> mm, mm, mm. Damn, man. That's interesting, man. I got mad kids too. Jesus Christ, man. But now parents be going hard, man. I think y'all capping. I think Q cap and I think Alex cap No. Not on purpose. But Adrian's not. He said he's not going to jail for nobody. That nigga might be telling the truth, though. I ain't gonna hold him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Damn, man. I don't know, man. Mm, mm, mm. So, Q, what was that?